We were asked by the museum to restore some of the very old engines, some of them old production engines, some of them concept engines that never saw the light of day but were part of the design process. Um, they were all in a very, very poor state. Most of them just covered in rust. You wouldn't think that, even though they were engines, some of them were just a pile of uh, rusty metal. Um, and we restored them back to demonstrable uh, condition or presentable condition, uh, mounted them on engine stands which we made because every engine's different so the stand had to be different and then we've put them into a state where they can be exhibited and visitors can see what they're all about. This particular one is uh, of interest because that was when Austin had a four-cylinder engine which they wanted to convert to overhead cam engine uh, and the way it was done in the day was to do all the de development work on a single cylinder engine and then when they got everything right they would then expend the money on a, a four cylinder engine. Um, so this is actually a four cylinder engine which is cut in half, shortened, welded back together again um, and a new cylinder head put on it. And, uh, they did the development work on that and that became known in the end as what was known as the S series engine. But it was just the, the technology that involved sawing an engine in half, throwing away the bit in the middle and welding the two halves together. It, it seems so agricultural now, but it was the way it was done in those days.